paraproctitis i already discuss hemorrhoid or also piles disease then first of all you uh, read the topic hemorrhoid then after you will also understand what is the difference between the hemorrhoid or piles and paraproctitis so today video i will discuss about the paraproctitis paraproctitis what is the characteristic of paraproctitis first of all it is the inflammation of the perirectal fat here you will see the paraproctitis in this you will see the inflammation occur in the perirectal fat not inside the mostly not inside the part of the rectum it is in the perirectal fat region so paraproctitis is the inflammation in the perirectal fat and damage of the mucosa of the rectum in hemorrhoid or piles disease i already discuss about the uh, piles in this mostly occur in the sub mucosa region of the rectum but paraproctitis is the occur in mostly in the mucosa region of the rectum so it is mucosa region of the rectum inflammation occur and damage occur and paraproctitis most common in the male as compared to female approx 2 is to 1 ratio 2 is to or 3 is to 1 ratio mostly occur so more common in the men as compared to the female so paraproctitis common in the male as compared to female and inflammation in the perirectal fat it is the most characteristic feature of the paraproctitis it is a inflammation in the perirectal fat but i already discussed in the pile it is occur in the maybe internal part of the rectum and maybe external part of the rectum it's called internal and external hemorrhoid i already discussed if you didn't watch then go only 10 minute video you watch the video of hemorrhoid then you will differentiate the difference between the hemorrhoid piles and paraproctitis so what is the causes of paraproctitis there are many causes of the paraproctitis main causes of the paraproctitis is the bacterial infection bacterial or viral main is the bacterial type of the infection which causes the paraproctitis main bacteria like e coli bacteria streptococcus bacteria streptococcus bacteria staphylococcus bacteria staphylococcus bacteria and also enterococcus bacteria there are many bacteria but main bacteria is e coli streptococcus and staphylococcus so is enterococcus enterococcus bacteria these are the main bacteria which causes the paraproctitis in the rectal region and also viral some viral disease also main also constipation when person has constipation for a long time and he didn't defection in mostly 5 to 6 days then it also causes the paraproctitis in the person due to the inflammation in the perirectal fat also genetic causes some are genetic causes also when person is long sitting on the chair it also causes the paraproctitis micro trauma of the rectal anal canal mucosa so every any micro trauma occur in the rectal anal canal mucosa then it also causes the paraproctitis and some person has disease like ulcerative colitis crohn's disease and sexually transmitted disease it also causes the paraproctitis in the patient so ulcerative colitis crohn disease it is a abnormalities in the digestive system disorder so it's also causes the paraproctitis so the main causes of paraproctitis is the infection about 70% causes is the infection of the bacteria in the paraproctitis and constipation for a long time but in the severe cases also it causes the uh, ulcerative colitis crohn's disease sexually transmitted disease also causes the paraproctitis so these are the causes of paraproctitis paraproctitis classification of paraproctitis there are many classification on the basis of different different causes location causes inflammatory process of the paraproctitis according to localization this is the main classification because it's very important and mostly asked in the examination on the basis of localization so on the basis of location paraproctitis may be hypodermic type ischiorectal pelvirectal submucous and retrorectal first of all i will discuss ischio uh, hypodermic hypodermic paraproctitis is the hypodermic when paraproctitis localized i will write localized near near anus when para paraproctitis localized near anus causes acute pain acute pain during mostly acute pain especially during defection strong on defection means at the time of defection a, there is acute pain and 
दिस इज लोकलाइज नियर द एन एस हियर यू विल सी द पैरा हाइपोडर्मिक टाइप ऑफ द पैरा प्रोक्टाइटिस लोकलाइज नियर द एन एस रीजन सो दिस इज द हाइपोडर्मिक लोकलाइज नियर द एन एस एंड कॉजेस पेन स्पेशली स्ट्रॉन्ग पेन ड्यूरिंग द डिफेकेशन दिस इज कॉल्ड हाइपोडर्मिक टाइप ऑफ पैरा प्रोक्टाइटिस इस्ट्योरेक्टल पैरा इस्ट्योरेक्टल पैरा प्रोक्टाइटिस मोस्टली लोकेटेड इन द डीप लेयर ऑफ इस्ट्योरेक्टल एंड इस्ट्योरेक्टल कैलन एंड इस्ट्योरेक्टल फोसल्फाइड so it is localized i will write localized localized in deep layer deep layer of ischio ischio rectal fossa fat ischio rectal fossa fat and can be spread up to prostatic gland because it's also spread so it can be spread up to spread up to prostatic gland prostate prostatic gland so ischiorectal ischiorectal paraprostatitis here you will see the ischiorectal paraprostatitis mostly occur in the ischiorectal fossa fossa in the fat region ischiorectal fossal fat here you will see the ischiorectal paraprostatitis and it can be spread to the prostatic gland because in the anterior side you will see when then prostate gland present you will see in the mostly in the male then it also spread to the prostatic gland region so it is a ischiorectal paraprostatitis pelvioorectal paraprostatitis it is mostly occur in the region of the pelvis and in localized near pelvis behind pelvic fundus localized behind the fundus fundus part of the and in the levator seat in the levator seat mostly so here you will see the here you will see the pelvioorectal here supra levator seat is, this is present and this type of the paraprostatitis present in this region so it is a pelvioorectal supra levator region of the so behind the fundus on the levator or seat levator seat this is the this is the paraprostatitis of pelvioorectal type so this is hypodermic hyp, this is the region of hypodermic and ischiorectal this is the region of the ischiorectal paraprostatitis pelvioorectal this is the paraprostatal type of paraprostatitis sub mucus sub mucosal type of the paraprostatitis mostly localized region is the mostly localized in the region of ave of the ave of mor please learn this morgeginis morgeginis crypts this region morgeginis crypts or if you don't understand this is called anorectal or anorectal line so this is the sub mucosal type of the sub mucosal type according to localization this is sub mucosal type of the paraprostatitis so here you will see the sub mucosal type of paraprostatitis mostly occur in the anal line be above the anal line this is localized above morgeni crypt and the morgeni crypt and the anal line this is the region of sub mucosal type of paraprostatitis present so above the uh, Mar morgeni crypt and the anorectal line this is the region of the sub mucosal type of the paraprostatitis and last paraprostatitis is the retrorectal this is present only in the region of the rectum so in this case severe pain in region of rectum this is present region of the rectum below the anus and region of the rectum with irritation also reaches to the sacrum region with irritate irradiation irradiation to sacrum this is mostly present in the region of the rectum and irradiation radiate to the sacrum region of the vertebra so this is the retrorectal so according to localization the classification of paraprostatitis is hypodermic this is the hypodermic region ischiorectal this is the region of is this is the region of ischiorectal type of the paraprostatitis pelvioorectal here is the pelvioorectal where the pelvis and above the at the line of the levator seat present pelvioorectal sub mucosal sub mucosal present in the region of sub mucosa above the rectal anal line above the anal line this is the sub mucosal type of the paraprostatitis and the retro 
refractory product of the mostly in the region of the rectum and this is radiate to the sacrum region of the vertebra so this is the classification on the basis of the localization according to causes it may be non specific specific and post traumatic according to causes causes of the non specific there is no any causes like genetic causes there be unknown causes idiopathic causes so it is non specific specific due to the some specific bacteria like e coli bacteria streptococcus bacteria this is specific and post traumatic due to the micro trauma of the rectal and anal gland so this is basis on the basis of causes or etiology it is also called etiology on the basis of causes and etiology it is non specific there is no any causes like if a person didn't know causes of the doctor didn't understand what is the main causes then it's called unknown or idiopathic so it's called non specific causes of the uh, paraproctitis specific like already stated bacterial and viral specific and post traumatic it may be due to the micro trauma of the retro rectal anal mucosa this is the post traumatic causes of the paraproctitis according to inflammatory process according to inflammatory process it may be acute type it's a for a long time it's a chronic for a, when acute type is not treated for a long time then it causes chronic and also in case of the formation of fistula so please learn this point when chronic type of form occur then fistula of the rectum occur fistula fistula of rectum fistula of rectum occur in this case chronic type of the paraproctitis and recurrent type of the paraproctitis when paraproctitis occur uh, continuously one times then after uh, some first is treated then after again it's paraproctitis then it's called recurrent type of the paraproctitis so according to inflammatory process it may be acute chronic and recurrent type of the paraproctitis now i will discuss what is the symptoms complication diagnosis and treatment of the paraproctitis symptoms in the patient of the paraproctitis symptoms like pain in the region of the rectum so rectal pain occur tenderness during the defection so tender patient feel the tenderness at the during type of defection means pain like sensation also uh, like stretching of the uh, bowel all also in, re in the region of the rectum so its pain tenderness occur in the during the defection also patient has high fever this is the also characteristic of the paraproctitis patient also feel the high fever in case of the paraproctitis malice like weakness like fatigue fatigue like appearance occur malice weakness also headache chill fever chill, also chill occur tenesmus tenesmus also feeling like in the patient and swelling around the perineal area swelling around the perineal area also is the characteristic feature also occur in the paraproctitis and also when its complication is for a long time then its patient also feel the sleeplessness working ability also reduce and development of neurosis and impotency this is the later stage this complication this symptoms you will see in the later stage of the paraproctitis but in the early stage you will see the like pain in the rectal region also sometimes bleeding you will see also malice weakness headache chill and tenesmus and swelling around the perineal region this is the early stage you will see the symptoms in the patient but this symptom here you will see sleeplessness working ability reduce and development of neurosis impotency this is the st later stage this complication you will see in the later stage of the paraproctitis when paraproctitis continue for a long time what is the complication of paraproctitis complication of paraproctitis is the fistula formation this is the main complication of paraproctitis also bleeding you will see also bleeding in the region of the rectum prolonged melting of the urethra also it's reaches to the region of the urethra so also prolonged melting occur in the urethra region and prolonged process of the scrotum followed by gangrenous here you will see the prolonged process of the gangrenous form of the complication of paraproctitis so you will see the gangrenous like appearance occur in the and also it reaches to the region of the scrotum in the region of the scrotum so this is the gangrenous form of the prolonged process of the scrotum followed by the gangrenous so this is the main complication you will see in the case of the patient of the paraproctitis but it is mostly occur in the case of the severe form this complication you will see the severe form and the uh, when it's for a long time and it also causes the gangrenous when gangrenous uh, occur then it causes the this complication like uh, you will see the region of the scrotum also uh, abnormal occur 
an inflammation and also gangrenous appearance occur in the region of the scrotum these are the complication of the paraprocrates what the diagnosis you will use for the diagnosis of paraprocrates first of all we will take the only physical examination first the physical examination by checking of the region of the rectum and anal colon by the physical examination any inflammation occur any pain and swelling by touching of this region and diagnosis of this region after that when doctor are not confirm about what's the complication what the region of this uh, para, its paraprocrates occur or not then doctor also will do the x-ray and ultrasound examination and also fistulography this are the method you doctor also use in case of the when he will not diagnose by the physical examination then they will also use the x-ray ultrasound and fistulography for the diagnosis of the paraprocrates and the treatment of paraprocrates what is the treatment of paraprocrates treatment of paraprocrates first of all is the conservative treatment then after surgery in the case of the conservative treatment doctor also did like also doctor will do like antibiotic antibiotic first of all doctor use because i already discussed this is the main causes of the paraprocrates is the infection of the bacteria is the like bacteria streptococcus e coli so it's may be treated by the antibiotic when it's not treated by antibiotic doctor also conservative matter doctor use like anti inflammatory drug due to the inflammation occur in the region of uh, rectum awareness so anti inflammatory anti inflammatory drugs in the conservative method also use anti inflammatory drugs also uh, we will also use like warm in this also it's very helpful warm bath of warm bath with potassium permanganate so warm bath with potassium permanganate k m k m n o 4 warm bath with the potassium permanganate k m n o 4 and also uh, we will also do the UHF therapy. UHF therapy also we will use for the conservative treatment. UHF therapy means it is a ultra high frequency electro card elect electromagnetic field. So we will use the ultra uh, ultra I will write ultra high frequency ultra high frequency electro magnetic field this is also used in case of the treatment of the paraprocrates so it is a antibiotic treatment anti-inflammatory drug one bath with kmno4 and uhf therapy like ultra high frequency electromagnetic field are also used in case of the treatment of the paraprocrates and also at the time when we were not treated by the conservative medicine when there is no any uh, recovery occurring due to the uh, when treated with the conservative manner then we will do for the surgery surgery in the surgery cases many surgical process uh, occur when fistula formation occur then the section of the fistula occur dissection of the fistula occur dissection of the fistula and and after that syringectomy syringectomy we will do the syringectomy to the intestinal lumen intestinal lu Men. and after second method also we will use lig ligature because you all know ligature method also used in case of the paraprocrates it is a very advanced method also and very useful method so ligature method also we will do and also syringectomy syringectomy of fistula with syringectomy of fistula with spentero so this method also we will use for the in case of the treatment of the paraprocrates first of all treatment also first of all we will try to do conservative method antibiotic anti-inflammatory warm bath KMNOPO and UHF therapy these are the conservative method when it's not properly treated then we will also do the surgery surgery first of all a, a method also do the resection of fistula and the syringectomy in the intestinal lumen second method also used like ligature method and third method like uh, syringectomy of fistula with the spring sphincterotomy so this method also used on the basis of the which complication which type of complication it may be acute chronic or recurrent then uh, there on the basis of this type of complication we will do the different different type of the surgery so this is the surgical method of the treatment and these are the conservative method of treatment of the paraprocrates 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पैरा प्रोक्राइटिस थैंक यू सो मच